YouTubers, it's Karen from Our Fall Acrylics. Nice to see you. <laughs> I imagine you all in my kitchen hanging out, having a cup of tea. Where's my tea? So, yeah. Um, today is experiment day with American Floetrol and the Shelly Art Bloom Technique. I'm going to um, show you a recipe I use with American Floetrol to create blooms. We're going to uh, blow one out with our mouth. So we'll give a pop and get the camera down as perpendicular as I can to show you that. <coughs> Excuse me. And then blow one out with my mini hair dryer. And then if there's time, maybe a quick little flip cup to see if you get the lacing like you do with the Australian Floetrol. So uh, let me get the camera down and get set up and we'll get started. <laughs> okay. Uh, I am refilming the part where I um, puff with my mouth because I didn't have my apron on and I was revealing more than I'm comfortable with on video. That's all I'm going to say. So, and also I want to show you um, real quick the consistency of the American Floetrol cell activator recipe um, and show you my colors real quick and then uh, I'll get the camera down perpendicular so you can see it. Just let me tilt this a little bit. Um, down so you can just like that so you can see the consistency make sure I had the, the uh, correct cup so this is the um, American flow trawl and basically it's marked it's one part paint in this case I'm using my Amsterdam titanium white to um, three parts American Flow Trawl, and then one part Elmer's Glue All, and then six drops of the Minwax uh, pre-stained wood conditioner, the stuff in the red can. You do want to stir the hell out of this. You want to stir, 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 because that said that, um, that wood conditioner, it acts like silicone does in that it rises out of the paint fairly quickly and if you just stir and then leave it sit for a minute or two and then you look at it sideways you'll see it floating on top of your paint so make sure you stir it really well and give it a stir before you um, add your puddle colors i'm just going to do two colors um, just for ease and i'm using my primary elements i have this shade right here, it's Payne's Gray. It's not gray. It's so funny to me how every company has a different Payne's Gray. It's a really, really pretty um, sparkly blue color. It's almost like a phalo blue to me. Um, so that's our blue. And then I'm going to do a green. And the green is, where'd it go? Right here. This is called Olive Vine by Primary Elements. Too. And I only put in like an ounce of pouring medium uh, in it and then just like the tip of it of my little eighth of a teaspoon into this. Just needed a little bit for today's demo. Um, anything else I need to tell you? Recipe, ratios for everything, colors, brands will all come up on the very last screen. If you click on the little down arrow, if you're on your phone, you can get to the description section, which shows you um, all the information, plus links, plus some discount codes to a couple products, plus the Shelly Art course. Um, and if you're on a, a computer or a laptop, click where it says more, and it'll take you to the description section. Let me turn the camera off to get it done perpendicular. All right. Hopefully this works for this purpose. Um, so you can see what I'm doing with my mouth and with my head as I blow into the white, make my circle, widen it. And then as I'm blowing, I'm going to lift up my head um, to uh, slowly decrease the force of my puffing onto the paint. So, uh, yeah, let's just give it a whirl. So is my house paint mixed with my GAC 800. Nice little puddle. 
And I'm just going to put on some blue. I highly recommend um, the four inch ceramic tiles, the subway tiles for practicing your puffing um, to get that down first before you move on to the hair dryer. You'll see in the next segment that I use the hair dryer differently than I do um, for this. This I'm gonna blow straight down. And also, if you're using a larger substrate, you wanna um, make sure your puddles have enough paint in them to reach the edges. I see a lot of people will use a six by six or an eight by eight and use the same amount of paint and then struggle to get coverage on the ed edges. All right, stirring up my uh, cell activator again. Make sure that wood conditioner is mixed in there. And put that in. I want to see it create a bit of a halo effect around the edges of that green. Hopefully you guys can see it. It might be kind of tough. It's more important that you see how I puff though. All right, here goes. So there's my initial, you can kind of see the cells there, where I'm getting some cells looking good. And then what I'm gonna do is take those bits of white areas and I'm gonna blow sideways to skim that white over the colors. Um, I'm not gonna move my head away the way I did when I made that initial circle. I'm just gonna kind of go sideways. and blow it out. Make it easier on yourself. Turn your canvas as you go, rather than try to contort your head. Make sure it's not sticking to your thingies. And you spin this around. And one thing about um, blowing with your mouth is you can get really specific once you get the hang of it. Um, so like I have a little tiny white area here that I can grab with my mouth that I can never do with a hair dryer and blow it out. I'm not really paying attention to my composition. This is more about showing you how the, uh, the technique of blowing with your mouth Let that all collect. And maybe right here. Skim that over a little bit. Anywhere else, maybe right here. I'm gonna go for that little tiny bit of white right there. That's it. All right, while that's all collecting, let me raise the camera so you can see this straight down. All right, this worked fairly well. I got lacing, I got cells. And then once you just keep practicing that part, part two, um, like I said, I, I always felt like um, the bloom uh, technique is definitely a 201 level um, technique. Um, because now once you get this part down and you get the puffing down, then the next part obviously is the tilting. Um, but for me, this is more about testing out this um, recipe with the American flow trawl. So just for, I'm not gonna try to make a perfect bloom. Typically, let me back up, because typically I would go to one corner and then go to the opposite corner. So I'd bring the weight of my paint back, and then I would go to this opposite corner. Of course, it's me, so a lot of times I change my mind depending on the composition. I like these colors together. I'll bring it back to the middle. I think I'm gonna go to this corner here. Hopefully I'm in frame, hopefully. Did that little corner with my thumb. 
and then bring it back the other way. It's stretching nicely. It's keeping its cell shapes. I like my house paint a little on the thicker side so it runs slower. I feel like I have more control that way. And bring it back. I just wanna see, see keep its shape and its lacing, and it is. So. It works, it works fantastic. It just takes a lot of practice with the um, with the puffing technique. So there, there you have it. It works great. I think it'll work even better with the um, hair dryer. So um, let me turn this off, and um, we'll try the same thing. We'll do a a, um, a test and compare. Um, do two blooms, one with the American Flow Troll and one with the Australian Flow Troll and uh, blow them out with my mini hair dryer and see what we get. I'll be right back. All right, we're back all set up um, to try the same thing with the American Flow Troll, this time using the hair dryer. And then um, maybe I'll try Baby Flip Cup to see if we get the lacing as well. So uh, yeah, the experiment day, I'm grabbing my house paint. A little puddle. And I made up another color um, called Olive Vine, which is a really pretty mossy green color. And I think I'm just going to do blue and green on this one. I'm kind of color testing. Um, I got my uh, Convexo canvases, um, the ones with the rounded edges. They came in the mail. And so while I'm testing American Floetrol, I'm also kind of color testing for uh, that project. And so I wanted to try this green out. Very rich looking. I do notice too that um, the wood conditioner kind of acts the same as silicon does in that it um, floats to the top of the white. I'm gonna do with my cell activator. Um, in that if I look at my white sideways, I can see it. So I definitely recommend to stir the hell out of your uh, flow trough. Like stir, stir, stir. Like really, really stir a lot with this. All right, so let's go ahead and put down our cell activator, cover up the green, and then uh, we'll just do the two colors and give this um, a puff with the hair dryer, my mini hair dryer. So with this, I don't tend to go straight down first. I tend to just automatically go sideways to cover up the paint. So I do do this a little bit differently than I do with my mouth. Now to me, that has a completely different look to it than the um, Australian Flow Troll. In fact, I made up a, a cup of the Australian Flow Troll with my uh, Amsterdam Titanium White just to show you the difference in the way it looks, um, particularly with the hair dryer. This to me looks like regular cells you would get when you use, um, you know, do traditional pours with Flow Troll or any other pouring mediums in these types of cells and it really doesn't have the lacing. I'm going to stick my head in here and just give a puff on these white areas and we'll give it a spin. But to me it already looks different. Not in a bad way necessarily. This is beautiful. It's just different.
Uh, I got one more cell. We'll try in that white spot right there. And as usual, you know me, I love to uh, add paint. I'm going to do it just how you guys see me do it um, half a dozen times before where I scoop up the leftover and just throw it on the corner just to help things get to where they're going. So I'm going to do it no different this time. And looks like it's collected fairly well. Got a couple more cells. Let's give this a spin. Oh, that's enough. Don't need a lot of spinning. Oh, well, maybe a little more. Trying to get to this edge here. Let me see if I can get some more paint to put on there to help it along. Right on here. Smush. And voila. That is gorgeous, y'all. That is the American Floetrol recipe. Way better than the job I did with my mouth, right? Um, plus, I just think it's fun. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's just a lot more fun. Um, so there's that one there. I'm gonna set him aside. Um, and I'm gonna scrape that first one I blew out with my mouth. And we're gonna do the same thing and we'll use the Australian flow troll and see if we see a difference. But I think that is spectacular. Love it. So we'll just scoop him up and set him off to the side. We'll do close-ups at the end, but there's a little sneak peek of what it looks like. Let me grab this one from um, the puff with my mouth because I don't like it. I think it was a good demonstration of puffing, um, but I don't like the, the colors or the composition. So we're gonna scrape that guy off. And so this time, this cup here that's unmarked, this is Australian Floetrol mixed with my Amsterdam Titanium White. This is um, almost a four to one ratio because I wanted it to be the same consistency between this one, let me just set it right there, and my, my American version, which has the lines on it right there that you can see. So this is how I know the difference. Plus I use the white stir stick. Um, it's pretty much identical consistencies between the two. So let's see how the, um, how this turns out using this other flow troll. So same deal. I can't remember what color I put down first. Did I think I did the blue first, right? All right, so we'll just do a little bit here. And do the blue. Also, if you're working on bigger um, substrates than say like a four inch towel, those are perfect for practicing the, um, the puffing techniques, especially with your mouth. But as you move to larger substrates, just remember that your, your um, colors in the middle, you need to add a little more um, so that you get coverage all the way to your edges. I see that a lot where people are using the same amount of color but have a like a six by six, six by six, or an eight by eight, and then um, they're really having to stretch to get uh, to the edges. So make sure you make your puddles a little bigger. All right, there's the green, and make sure I got the unmarked cup. So this is the Australian Floetrol. I'll try to blow it out the same. See how it's making, hopefully you can see where it's making a halo effect in the middle. 
and then I'm gonna aim for the middle, but I'm not blowing down, I'm gonna blow out and skim it across the colors. It didn't collect in the middle as much as the American version did. Um, so same deal, I'm gonna puff here. I do want you to notice the difference in this, the, the shapes of the cells though, where the American version looked like traditional cells. Now after we spun it out, it looked more like this, but initially the cells, how they, how they appear are different. Like I can spot a painting me with American flow troll a mile away, just, just by the shape of the cells. And I'm not saying that it's not beautiful or anything like that, it's just a different shape, that's all I'm saying. So let me puff this here um, in the middle. Now one of the advantages of puffing with your mouth versus um, a hair dryer is you can get, once you get the, the hang of it, you can get very, very specific um, in pinpointing the areas that you wanna blow out, like the tiniest little line of white. Like for example, right there, um, in between this little row of blue cells, there's the white middle. Um, once you get the hang of it with your mouth, you can get really specific and just blow right, pinpoint right there and blow that. And don't worry if you um, distort the shape of your cells, they'll come back. They'll come back as that collects in the middle. So we're just gonna give that a second to collect in the middle. And honestly, so far, I think the, um, the one with the American flow troll, that recipe is prettier than this one. But we'll see after we spin it out. Maybe nice to have a couple of twinsies. And then we'll do one more experiment and that'll be it because I don't know how long that, that'll make this video. And I don't wanna bore you guys. All right, so let's uh, give this a, a spin. different cells. Very similar, pretty close, a little more. I like my blank areas. And ta-da, wow. These are gonna be very, very similar. I got more of a um, white lightning uh, effect with the white than I did with the other one, but let me I think I'm gonna stop the video right there um, and maybe I'll do another one where I experiment with the Australian flow troll, I'm sorry, the American flow troll in a flip cup. Um, but let me uh, put these two side by side so you can see the difference. There's hardly any, which is a great thing for uh, folks in the US who wanna use the American flow troll. Be right back. Okay guys, I am super, super excited because I can barely tell the difference between these two. This is number two with the Australian Floetrol, which is the green and the blue. Pretty, right? Here is the mix of American Floetrol. Check it out. They're, they're, they could be a little a uh, five inch little diptych, as far as I'm concerned. Look really, really great. There's that one. And that one. Just gonna push them together. I'm kinda stick them to my canvas. There they are together. Ah, uh, really super thrilled. 
that means you guys can use this recipe and start blooming. Let me flip around and say goodbye. How exciting is that, y'all? Um, I'm going to post the recipe um, right after this um, with the ratios and everything. Screenshot it. Watch this video a couple times. Practice your puffing. Um, really, really stoked that this works so, so well. Um, definitely better with the hair dryer. Use your air with me puffing. It was more about showing you how you get close with your mouth and then pull away and you make that initial circle and then skim out to the sides. Um, can you tell I've been uh, an instructor in a former life because I try to reiterate everything. Anyway, um, that's it for me today. Um, see you guys next time. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.